Well, when you want to get up and go, a walking shoe can help you do just that comfortably, you hope. Consumer Reports just sized walking shoes, including some that claim to tone your legs. Always wondered about those. Here's Consumer Reporter Jen Strathman with more. Hi, Jen. Hi. Well, Consumer Reports looked at 25 pairs of walking shoes. Here's what they found. This store sells plenty of walking shoes. They will be very cushioned, so people going from a street shoe to a walking shoe will like that cushioning. To keep you on track, Consumer Reports tested 25 pairs of walking shoes, both men's and women's. Included in the tests, five shoes that claim to tone muscles. The Earth Kinetics, Skecher Shape Ups, and for women, Reebok's Easy Tone Re-Inspire. Testers had panelists describe how they felt. Most of the panelists said they could feel with the Earth Kinetics and the Skechers their muscles working, but not so much with the Reeboks. Also, these shoes may not be great for people with balance issues because they work differently than traditional shoes and may be unstable. And testers put all the shoes through a battery of tests, including ones from New Balance, Nike, and Reebok. This test assesses flexibility. That's how easily a shoe bends. And testers evaluated the shoe's stability and cushioning at an outside lab. Consumer Reports also had staffers walk in the shoes for about 250 hours. In the end, Consumer Reports top-rated the $100 Asics Gel Tech Walker Neo for both men and women. The $20 Pro Spirit Jacore for men came close. They're sold at Target. And a second choice for women, the $70 Rika Radiant, rated excellent for cushioning and flexibility. Any of these shoes are worth checking out to see if they're a comfortable fit for you. Consumer Reports says getting a good pair of walking shoes may require you to try on several before you find a comfortable fit and walk around in them to make sure they're right for you. And this Sunday, credit card companies will change the way they charge fees. You won't be charged more than $25 for a late fee unless you've been delinquent in the past six months or the credit card company shows the fee is needed to cover its costs. Some late fees won't even be that high because you can't pay more than your minimum payment. The same rule applies if you go over your credit limit. For more information, go to Newsnet5.com, click on Money, then Consumer. Coming up at 6, I'll show you why consumers are feeling sticker shock when they purchase tickets for events online. The secret to not feeling ripped off. On your side, Jen Strathman, News Channel 5. Thanks, Jen. A local firefighter is honored for what he did while off the job. That's all new at 6. Plus, heading to the theater or a sporting event, are you? Why you need to read the fine print before buying your ticket through a ticket broker. Plus, you've seen the restaurant in your neighborhood retail plaza. So what makes Five Guys the new burger masters? Find out next at 5.